I recently turned 23. And I have so much I want to share. You have to be grateful to the point where nothing in your life, anything that goes wrong in your life will not bother you and will not disrupt your energy. If you have the correct warmth and compassion and feel coddled, you will grow and you will feel abundant. If you want to be in your life, they're going to have to learn your expectations. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm yelling at you, but I promise I'm not. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be getting ready for my birthday. Your girl turned 23 today. I'm actually really, really, really excited for this video because it's going to be a different video than what I normally do. We are going to be talking about 23 things that I've learned now being 23 years old. Honestly, I think I've done a video on my channel where I was 18 and things that I learned when I was 18 years old or 18 things that I like learned, but I haven't done one in like over four or five years now. And I think it'd be so good instead of me talking about makeup products to talk about things that I've learned in my life because this is about to be a really real and transparent video. I've wanted to film one of these videos, especially after having my daughter. My life has definitely changed a lot, whether it be with school, getting married, you know, having a baby. It's just a lot of things have changed and I feel like now I'm in a place in my life where I can just talk openly to you guys and not be like, yeah. These are like basic things that I've learned because I've grown so much as a person and it's just going to be really nice. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab your makeup bag, grab popcorn. I don't know. Grab something and let's get started with today's video. So I'm going to be doing my makeup and my hair. I literally just got out of the shower. But first things first. Let's talk about the very first thing I learned when I'm 20. Three. Okay, so the number one piece of advice I would give someone literally at the age of 23 or someone who's younger than me or even older than me is be grateful. Manifestation 101, if any of you guys believe in the whole manifestation thing, is that you have to be grateful because gratefulness is the highest form of energy to bring more things into your life. If you want to live a fulfilled and abundant life, you have to be grateful for every little thing you already have in your life. And a lot of you might be telling me like, oh, being grateful, that's just so easy. No, you have to be grateful to the point where nothing in your life, anything that goes wrong in your life will not bother you and will not disrupt your energy. When my daughter was born, my life literally changed. And I know some of you can probably relate to this, some of you can't. But my life literally changed when my daughter was born. Every single day, I was writing three things that I was grateful for. And I was manifesting that very first year. Every single day that I wrote down something I was grateful, my life during that first year of her life was just so overly abundant. Everything I wanted in my life happened. And I did not feel stressed out as a postpartum mom and i did not feel stressed out about raising my daughter and just i didn't feel everything that i wanted to i got monetized on youtube i got into my dream nursing school all because i was grateful for every little thing that i have even though it could be the smallest thing i could be grateful for the internet that i have my phone that i have the house that i live in those things i'm so abundantly grateful for that the universe or god was able to bring more things into my life if you are not grateful for the things that you have in your life right now the universe and god cannot give you more things into your life so you need to be grateful but there were times when nursing school where i just didn't journal i didn't write i was just really busy and i didn't i wasn't didn't, i wasn't feeling grateful and during that time i wasn't feeling grateful and things just didn't work out i felt more stressed i wasn't at my highest form of positive feminine divine energy and i just felt overwhelmed, stressed all the time. And now that I've done and graduated school, I started journaling again, I started being grateful, I started manifesting again. I feel so much better about myself as a person and I feel like so many things are coming into my life and I feel so wonderful and I don't know, it just, I don't know what it is. I think it's just manifestation, the power of being grateful, but I feel safe in who I am with myself. I feel abundant and I feel like nothing in the world can stop me and I don't feel stressed. So that is my number one advice is to always be grateful because at the end of the day, you are manifesting what you want in your life by being at the highest of your energy and just being grateful. I had to take my hair out of that towel. It was literally hurting me. But number two, don't care what people think it's true whether you can look at me and say oh that's simple everyone says like oh don't care what people think. it's the honest truth because let's face it if you cared what every little person thought of you today you would be crying in the hole right now you would be crying and you would literally be upset you would hate world you wouldn't be grateful 
you couldn't manifest good things into your life because you were too worried about what other people think. If I cared what every person thought of me, I would not start a YouTube channel, okay? If I cared about what every little person thought of me, okay, then I would not be standing in front of you today telling you my advice and feeling confident about who I am. If I cared what other people think, I would not be getting ready for my day today, my birthday, okay? At the end of the day, no one truly cares about you. Let's face it. No one truly, truly cares about you like you care about yourself. You can have a partner. You can be married. I have a partner. I am married. At the end of the day, I still have to be confident in who I am. I still have to not care what people think. Marriage is hard. There's family members that you may not get along with in marriage. There are friends you will probably have to drop because they are too negative in your life. And they say too many negative things about you. But you have to be strong enough as a person to say, you know what? I don't care what these people think of me. Because I am who I am, and I am confident, and I am strong. Now, don't be, you know, ignorant and have a bad attitude and really bad overall. And not even, like, you know, consider other people, not be generous, be stingy, and be selfish. And think you're, like, the shit. Because at the end of the day, you're probably not. You're probably just, like, stupid. I don't know. But be kind, be grateful, okay? And don't care what other people think about you. Because at the end of the day, you have yourself. Okay, and that goes on to number three is don't be afraid to be alone So this is one of the hardest things for a lot of people is don't be afraid to be alone Because it is human nature naturally to gravitate towards people and be loved and just want that warmth and compassion But a lot of times we don't always get that warmth and compassion And when you have the correct warmth and compassion and feel coddled You will grow and you will feel abundant and that means the correct partner will help you thrive, okay? Your family members who love you and understand you will help you thrive. But there are some times you are going to be alone and you are going to feel alone because the universe and God just want you to be alone. And the, being alone is okay. Finding comfort in who you are as a person and being strong as a person, an individual by yourself is okay. Because sometimes you need that time to be alone in order to grow and get to the next level. Sometimes things in your life will cause you to be alone and make you feel sad, but at the end of the day, you need to be strong enough. And like I mentioned, number one, be grateful for the life that you have in order to grow and gravitate your life. You could be in a situation right now where you feel like every other person in your life is doing so much better, but you also have to understand the universe has put you on this path, God has put you on this path, because you need to grow as a person. And it could feel sad at the moment, you know, you lose your relationship, you know, you you lost friendships, you know, family members may have passed away. Maybe you're not as close to certain family members and that's okay. Find help. And let me say this, find help in being alone. And I'm not saying help as in tell a new friend every little thing about your life because let's face it, some people are really deceptive and you could be bringing the wrong energy into your life. Find a good therapist. Find yourself help. Okay, and be comfortable in building yourself back up when you are alone. Be comfortable and learn to be comfortable in doing things by yourself because it is okay to be alone. It is okay to take time to think. At the end of the day, you may be alone for a long time and you cannot sit and dwell. You have to build yourself up. You have to get yourself help. Okay, and at the end of the day, you won't be alone. Journal, grow yourself because you will honestly come out so much stronger at the end. It is okay to be alone. And I've learned that the hard way several times in relationships when I was younger and, you know, friendships. At the end of the day, it's like, I was alone for a long time. And it's okay. Because I have my family, okay, the people that I love. I'm grateful for everything. And then now I have so much more abundance in my life. And that is okay to know that back then I was alone. Or I felt alone, even though I wasn't alone. Because it's also human nature to, like, not want to be alone. But it's don't be afraid to ask for help. I think this is number four. And honestly, I might not even get to 23. I might just tell you all the important things because this will be a very long video if I can tell you all my life advice. But don't be afraid to ask for help. I'm the only girl on my mom's side. I literally have five boy cousins and now I have two stepbrothers. So I'm the only girl. And I'm the second oldest. And I have an older brother. But on my mom's side, I'm the only girl. And I've always been told growing up, it's like, you are going to be the one taking care of the family. And it's true, okay? For people that are women, you already know that you are mainly responsible for a lot of things. One, and as women, whether you believe it or not, we are responsible for so many things. We're responsible for, one, keeping the family together. Two, making sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. And three, making sure we're taking care of ourselves and feeling our most feminine energy. And it's true. But a lot of the times, being a woman, we don't ask for help because we're afraid people cannot meet our expectations. 
don't be afraid to ask for help because at the end of the day, people are going to have to learn your expectations. Plain and simple. If they want to be in your life, they're going to have to learn your expectations. It's very true. That's half of the don't be afraid to ask for help. The other half is you will not get anywhere in life without asking for help. It's very true. It's human nature to want to have a companion. You cannot get anywhere in life doing things by yourself. And I used to think all the time, you know, I, my mom used to tell me this when I was a kid and I would be like, you know what, it's fine. I can do it by myself. I can do this and that by myself. You cannot do everything by yourself. Believe it or not, you cannot do everything by yourself. One, you cannot learn a skill by yourself. You have to go and train from people and learn to do these skills by yourself, okay? You have to learn from someone else to do these skills by yourself. I had to go on YouTube to learn how to edit, and I still feel like my editing is not the best form of editing, but I had to go to YouTube and look at somebody else teach me how to do YouTube videos. My face is really itchy right now, okay? You cannot do things by yourself. I'm going to keep reiterating that because it needs to be drilled in a lot of people's heads. You cannot do things by yourself because at the end of the day, you will not get anywhere in life without asking for help. And it'd be having your family support. Okay? It could be if you have a boyfriend that's really rich. You can probably live life without him, but there's a reason why you're rich with him. Or you're with him because he's rich. There's a reason why. Okay? Let's face it. You cannot do everything by yourself. Okay? You cannot. You cannot. You need to ask for help because you will never get anywhere in life. I'm going to keep repeating this unless you ask for help because you have to learn new skills. You have to go to school, get an education. Those things, you are still learning from someone. You cannot walk this lonely road by yourself because the world would be a lonely place for you. You cannot do everything by yourself. Number five is take breaks and care about yourself. Okay, so I am from an Asian household and a lot of the times people... If you don't know already, Asian households are very, very, not strict, but it's more of we try to get a lot of things done in our life because thing, there's so many hours in a day and there's not a lot of time for rest because a lot of, you know, things happen in life and you can't always rest. Like people need money, people need this and that, or, you know, if you have a child, you know, you cannot rest because you have to take care of a baby all day or, you know, you need to do things for your family. And I've learned growing up you can take breaks, okay? Don't let anyone shame you into thinking that you cannot take a break. I remember, yeah, this didn't happen very long ago. This, <laughs> this honestly happened not too long ago. I was graduating nursing school. And for those of you who don't know my nursing school story, I literally drove two and a half hours every single day to my nursing school. And some of those days consisted of me waking up at 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m. to get to a clinical at 6 in the morning your girl was tired but i was still grateful and i was still adamant and wanting to pursue my goals i had desire okay and i graduated and i was like oh my goodness i'm so relieved i'm so relieved i don't have to do this any longer i feel great i feel wonderful i'm relieved but i'm tired i want to take a break and i got married the month the same month that I graduated nursing school and that was exhausting my brother also graduated high school during that same month it was a very exhausting month I wanted to break and someone had told me that it was a week already it was a week span I had been driving two and a half hours for 18 months every single day okay and I just got through my wedding I just got through I may have not have been a big wedding but I got through my wedding and I got through my brother's graduation I took a week to myself because I was so tired and exhausted and I had someone tell me your wedding was a week ago why are you still sleeping in bed why are you excuse me I literally had driven two and a half hours every single day to get my degree and people called it selfish of me to take a break and now since that happened I was just like you know what I'm going to take a break when I need a break because you cannot be at your highest self unless you take breaks. And I'm not talking about taking months and months and months of breaks. No, you still need to be doing something, even if you're on a break, okay? You still need to be applying yourself, okay? Having the next plan set up. And trust me, I'm a very type A person, so I always have a plan. Whether people think about it or not, I can act dumb all I want, but, you know, I have a plan. And I want to take a break when I need a break because my body, your body, knows you best. And if you need a break, then take that break because at the end of the day, you could be overly exhausted. 
you could be, you know, setting yourself up for failure because you didn't take a break. It is okay to take breaks. Now, it may seem like to other people that they, that you are not trying as hard as them, but that goes back to number two, I think. Don't care what people think of you because at the end of the day, it's like sometimes people need a break. You don't have no idea what someone's going through emotionally, physically. Okay, and it's scientifically proven that women actually need more sleep than men. So take a break, take care of yourself, end of story. I'm sorry if in these videos I seem like I'm a little crazy talking about this stuff, but when you turn a certain age, you just don't want to put up with people's BS anymore. And these are so important for people to learn, whether it be motivational for them or just growing yourself it's so important to know these types of things because it helps you with self-development and i'm just so passionate about it and you know being a mom i'm also very passionate about it because i don't want my daughter to grow up one day and be like i don't know anything and i don't feel comfortable in who i am and i would hate that people who are watching my videos don't get that vibe of like they don't know who they are and this is a video mainly to help people and i'm just so passionate because i love to help people and i love people to understand and learn and just really grow as a person and that's another thing um the next tip is to be compassionate and to be helpful and generous because when you are generous okay you again attract abundance into your life and that's like the number one thing everyone talks about now is like energy abundance but being generous okay and being loving and being compassionate and being kind brings things into people brings things into people's lives and brings things into your life and taking care of other people is a wonderful thing okay teaching people how to love themselves is a wonderful thing because you teach this person a skill it's like the quote if you give a man a fish you feed him for a day if you give a man the skill to learn to fish you feed him for a lifetime and loving yourself giving people advice you are teaching them a skill it is truly a skill to be able to love yourself because a lot of people don't love themselves it is a skill to be comfortable with yourself, to not care what people think. Okay, it is truly a skill. And I'm hoping you guys can take from this video, like, okay, you know what? This is a skill that she's teaching me. This is something that I want to do. I want to improve my life. I'm going to take some of these advices and run with it. Learn with it. Grow with it. Because you have no idea what's going to happen in your life, okay? You don't know if one day your whole world's going to turn upside down and you still need to find a way to feel grateful. Because trust me. A lot of things happened in my life to where I'm like, my world is completely upside down. Like, especially the last 16 months of when I was in nursing school. I don't know if you guys have watched my, like, Get Ready With Me video, but I had talked about, like, my cousin passing away, and I had talked about, you know, um, surgeries and people being in the hospitals, and it was just a lot. And I was, it was hard for me to be grateful in those times, and I still tried my very best to be grateful. And now that I look back on it, and I was like, I could have been more grateful. I could have been more grateful. So the today's video, I'm going to actually cut it a little bit short. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. And then um, I will see you guys in a minute. So let me do my hair. Okay, so I've decided to put some eyeliner on and to do my brows. And my hair is like dry now. I want to curl it, but I don't know. I might keep it straight. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if I yelled at you guys a little too much. But I hope you learned something from this video. And thank you for getting ready with me on my birthday. So I will see you guys in another video. Bye! Stay with me and we can